surprise, it's Yorkie the mechanic. The surprise mechanic, that is, because when it comes to games with chance, with dice, with cards, that's me, baby. Because, you know, when it's in a game, it's not really gambling. It's the prize mechanics. And I am the surprise mechanic now. Let's roll them. Roll them, roll them, roll up to the greatest show on earth. It's the American Circus, the amazing American Circus. Let's go. This was on channel before, but we lost the gameplay when we lost the computer. So. Character Yoki. And so we have to begin again. Would you like to play the prologue? Yes, because we want the story as it is. How are you all doing? This is our new section for games with a little chance or with cards, etc. Grim as the Reaper. Got some bad news he did. He hopped on a train because, you see, his dad just kicked a bucket. His ma is, uh... Still mourning her husband, I suppose. I'm not too happy either. Arthur and I was brothers after all. His dear, dead daddy. The owner of the miserable Jones Circus. He's a stiff! I bet young Jones has... Like me at the craps table. Over. But could there be a way to change his mind? Natch. I wonder. Let's roll a match 20 and get this underway. Yes, as I say. This is uh, gaming for uh, things with a chance or with cards or with dice or any anything like that. That chance, just like me. Now then, you know what you get back to the old house, or rather. The ruined shed you used to call home. Uncle Jack sits down on an old squeaky chair and pouts his lips in a cheeky manner. Oh, I forgot. Don't skip because it just suits past. Never mind. Paul left you his circus. You don't say. A circus, as Jack calls it, consists of a couple of trusty stands and a old ruined big top that hasn't been used in 20 years. It's hard to believe that he and Uncle Jack used to be the most famous circus plums in America. It's yours now, all that sad mess. I don't want it. I got a train to catch, so if there's nothing else... Not even gonna say hello to the troop? Remember, from the funeral? Three very smelly and very raggedy artists who look as if they have had, uh, had they had last... Yeah! Take a chance on my speech as well. Three very smelly and very raggedy artists who look as if they had spent the last couple of years in a basement staring at you intensely with barely confined, disturbing excitement in their eyes. Oh, and Grandma Betty's there. Try not to piss her off. And sweet Jimmy, the guy makes the best pink lump. You greet them cautiously and then you spot your mother coming out of the house, pulling a black shawl tighter across her shoulders. A stern great grimace softens as she gets closer. Are you preparing a show to honor your father? Well, I wasn't. Yes, that is exactly but I guess I am now. Doing. I am not. I Come on, boy. Years of watching your father and I, you must have picked up something. Yeah, all kinds of diseases sitting in this raggedy place. You know this'll be the one big disaster, but hey, one quick show and they'll be they'll leave you in peace. Right? These are your artists. They, three can perform in a single show. As you can see, this is cards, it's not actually chance, but that's okay, it's still cards. Gotta play your cards right. This is your audience waiting to be entertained, it won't come easy since each spectator has various abilities and actions that make the job harder. Here you can't represent your artist's tricks. This is your vitality, yes it is. Uh, take a close look, yeah, we can skip through this because we've seen this before and I'll show you as we go through. What we did it for was uh, just the uh, introduction. Right, eyeball juggling. Boom! Fire at him! Does some damage to the old entertainment. Gets rid of some boredom. It's damage to his boredom. When you finish your turn, the cards from your hand are placed in the discard pile. Yes, they are. Let's see your 20 turn. We should be playing more, but we can't right now because we're learning, learning, learning. We're learning the big ropes, the tight ropes, all the ropes. Audience sneering lowers our folks of artists. Not a protect artist, is ignore. 
Remember the ignorability resets at the beginning of each turn. Cards are very suspect. For instance, draw gets you new cards, etc. Yes. And they want us to ignore... On him. It's a finger lift. Go on, strong man. <laughs> Your artist focus hits from zero. One of their cards gets scrapped from the deck. Afterwards, their focus resets. If your artists lose all their cards, they're removed from this show. In addition, your vitality increases, and so on. Choose a card to get rid of. Um, let's get rid of that. Right. If all the cards in deck are used, the discard pile reshuffles. Uh, that's a cost though, when this reshuffle takes place, all artists lose 5 focus. Impressed too, so Jack's sitting down. <laughs> but Mother's not. Finale bar, yes indeed. Guard's finale face, yes, that's a uh, special trick here. We've got uh, Mimi on the model, on the unicycle. Take it away, Mimi! Hi, why are you in exactly the She goes, don't look up at the skirt, don't be disgusting. And uh, Mama's happy. You clearly got some of that Arthur's blood in you, boy. Well, sure, he's my dad. That was surprisingly good. And that reminds me. Yeah, there was a letter. Yes, yes, from the Circus Association. Addressed to your pa. There's gonna be a circus competition. And that involves me how? So what? With your pops gone, we figured you'd be at least curious. Why? It's your father's legacy. I don't care if it's my father's army, so yeah, I wanna be gone. God represented this weird hobby of your, resented this weird hobby of your father. It seems to bring him bad fortune rather than profit. Yeah, it always seemed determined to put you on this path. So much so that you always felt a deep need to resent it. One hundred thousand dollars for the winner, boy. That could be good. Not sure exactly when you, what year this is set in. Around the turn of the century, I think. Not this century, last one. This picture of interest. One hundred thousand. And fall silent, thinking. Uncle Jack grins. You obviously share the winnings with your poor uncle and widowed ma, wouldn't you? Let's see, you got no woman waiting for you with a hot supper, no house, no job. Does he just let you go? Together with a fair share of the debts, $100,000 could solve most of those problems indeed. I guess I do know a thing or two about a circus. You sure do, and we need money. You think about the show you just gave, and you have to admit it felt kind of good to be on stage. Fine. I'll do it. Why the hell not? Natch, natch. My good boy. Well, in that case... Uncle hands you a map of the states, all blurred and hard to read with a magnifying glass. This should help you on your travels. Use it when you're ready to leave. Good luck, kid. Smart decision? You ain't sure, but... You willing to take the gamble, you think? Goodbye, son. I hope... Goodbye, you hope? What kind of bloody farewell is that? She holds her face... Ah, uh, never mind. Off you go then. On my way, Mama. This is your map where you get to choose what cities you want to visit. And we're here, and we're going. We're going to Seattle. Guess. It's big. It's the Wild West. It's built in 1851. Population 80,671. Timber Timber calls it Seattle, Timber being its main resource. But there are also other calls in the city are much less proud, much less noble. It seems no place for social tension. Still, the city of Kinsmore, Phoenix, rolls back after the after Great Seattle Fire. So it'll surely rise from the cinders of a civic unrest as well. The artists have to eat before you venture forth to plan your provisions. The number of cities you pass determines the number of prepared meals, or required meals. Available dishes are listed. Who do you choose? Yep. Alright, each dish. We can't actually make any new ones, we've just got this one. 
And each dish has an impact on some of these. Uh, flaws, health, sorry, satisfaction, health and nutrition. If they end up low, you get flaws, and if they end up high, you get good stuff. Wounds. That's going to be minus one, which could give us a flaw. That's five, and that's minus two. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. But okay, it is what it is. Let's hit the road, Jack! So my nephew packed up Arthur's circus, and off he went. I'll be mighty surprised if it all doesn't turn out all right. His father was big in America once. Oh, hey, I hear that. The adventure of a lifetime awaits young yep. Mr. Jones and his crazy troop. God, to be young again. Anything can happen in the Wild West, but I'm sure he'll be just fine. Let's Matthew go do it. The greatest American showman is going to be quite challenging. To the amazing American circus. Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Take a chance on us. We are the Jones and Jones so, picked up a fun. We're your employees now, huh? Looks like it. Oh, this is going to be good. We knew your father well. I like the voice office. Hey. Huh? I'm coming with you. You just finished setting up a big top for the first time as Uncle Jack rides up to you. Heaving you euphorically. He dismounts and tries to catch his breath and stumbles towards you. It's that old drunk again. I'm a uh, coming with you. <laughs> nah, I knew it. I knew it. See? We think alike already. Oh, in the name of our circus, our mm. was thinking about it the whole way. And I found it. Jones and Jones Circus, you know? Seeing as we both are Joneses and your pa was named Jones. I reckon you're Jones in for that name. Yeah, I think I get it. But hold on a minute. It's settled then. You won't get rid of me easily, boy. I know how to make all this work. Sweet Jimmy sends you a knowing look. That man is hard to argue with. I can tell you that. Better just accept it. Your uncle makes himself at home and takes seat in front of your cat. Huh, Jones and Jones Circus it is then. Jones and Jones, big top of fun. Right, we're in Seattle. And we can go put on the show. We have Jewel Jackson. Oh, okay. Let's step past this. First thing. Select your artist. We've only got three to choose from. So, we have to choose all three. Strongman and the Clown. We have Jewel Jackson, the Strong Sergei Mik Mikhailov, and Weary Lily. Uh, misfit, someone who's... Circuses back then were known for their freaks. A little offensive, well, more than a little offensive, and quite abusive. But the funny thing is, some of them wouldn't fit in with their regular society, and that was the best they could hope for back then. Some, some of them. Now, that doesn't mean it was good. Well then, can we say our society's got to, a, got to a good place yet? I don't think so. Right, so tickets. And because we've got the money... We... Can put this on. And vary it. And that should be fine. Show me! Show me the money! We've got 15 and 15. He's doing his due. Plus three on her. Impress two and stash. Impress four and stash. <laughs> Impress two and stash. That's five. And I can get rid of him with an unpack. He does less damage. Now you're gonna hit her. However, she can ignore seven because you're doing a power lift. I don't like the idea of drawing one. 
because uh, that'll mean we have to lose, but that's okay. We can get there. Extra hands! Double the next impress. Unfortunately, it's not going to give us an impress just now. I don't know if that holds over. Uh, extra sneering. We're blocking enough to cover that, that's fine. <laughs> oh, minus two on sneering, is it? Okay. Uh, vitality one, draw three. Come on then, Lily. And it's going to be one of these, so we'll roll it, Bowler. Ignore one for each card with ignore use during this performance. Oh, oh it did roll over, that's fine, that's fine. Let's choose a card, shall we? <laughs> and then if we can do one more... It's time for Mimi! As uh, a strongman flips a truck, Mimi takes to the air on the highway and on her unicycle. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she lovely? Off she goes. And you and my friend are happy. <laughs> right, we earned 689 and we lost 90. And that leaves us 599. You know what? I think we'll do fine. With the circus, I mean. Well, a bit early to say. I bet you we're going to get recognizable in no time. Put up a show in front of Buffalo Bill himself one day. Why would we? Why would we? To make him realize he ain't got a chance against us. Bill's going to take part in a tournament, I reckon. Challenging him, proving we are better, he'd simply resign. I think it's unlikely. Don't underestimate me, kid. I used to be tightrope Jackie. You used to be sober, Big. too. Big. Now, let's have a step through here. This is a cine. Ah, this wagon. This is where we can do training, etc. But we don't actually have any training yet. Oh, we got 53 experience. Oh no, that's uh, that's just showing the artist. Um, okay, this is the tra this is where we do training. We ain't got no training yet. That shows all the artists we've got. Recruitment if we want to get someone new. Uh, I'm not going to try and get anyone new until we get to the point where we're getting uh, special people, because I know you can get special people. All required. Gifts and hoaxes. This is the uh, recovery wagon. And then we've got the voodoo wagon. Where well, you can get rid of things like this. So we don't want the fearful. And there you go. And you can also lock in um, boons and things like that. The cookhouse, where you prepare meals when you hit the road. You'll have to come here in a little bit. Bizarre Bazaar, where your misfits stay. We have the uh, the lizard man to begin with. Beginning the act. Larry the lizard, extra impressive, we saw. Go around the artist. 
And then, uh, my personal wagon, the Ringmaster's wagon, where I can improve things. Firstly, I want to improve the uh, cookhouse. There we go. And then we've got the journal showing us the different quests, keywords, audience cards, and tutorials. Here's one side side to Chris Charles an artist. Okay. And that's all we've got at the moment. Now we can go to Portland or we can go to Walla Walla. Or we can look at this thing. Why don't we have a peek over here? And that's Spokane. Hmm. We go to Spokane and Helena and Walla Walla, we can then go down to Boise. Why don't we do that? There's a ruffian's went to say nobody in Spokane. Small Wild West, 1873 established. 26,848. Railroad, gold mines. And silver then. And lead mines too. Logging, milling, agriculture, as far as the eye can see. And social unrest. So Spokane has it all. Uh, let's see, where are we? It has all the hallmarks of the end of the 19th century. It's a young place, it's a booming place, and it's a place of constant struggle. Can there be any place more American than here? We need a, we need a food, of course. So rather than go there, let's go here. Actually, no, let's start out. Um, let's let's go here and see what at minus four, two, and minus five. So we really need something that goes satisfaction and nutrition if we can, especially nutrition. Now it's worth noting if you don't eat, you lose three, as you can see there. Let's see what we got, shall we? That's not what we need. That's okay, but not good. Salted meat would be good, but it's thirty cent, uh, thirty dollars each. Cheese soup would be good, and that's only ten dollars each. Let's uh, let's get some. Let's get some of that, shall we? Let's hit the road. Five, nil, and nil. Yeah, we lost someone there, but that's okay, it's not negative, that's the main thing. And the other two rows. Let's go visit, and let's put on a show. Roll up, roll up. The greatest show on earth. We've got Joel Jackson. We've got the strong Sergei Mikhailov. And we have Weary Lily. Once more, we've got Mimi to finish us off on the title. Although you can say it's a finale is a bit wrong because you can use it multiple times and don't have to finish with it. All right. Those are tickets. We have enough to do all of them. And let's go to the show. With ruffians. He's going to be blocking and he's going to be sneering at Lily. Well, first of all, let's ignore all. Let's do a Hercules hold. With our strong man, Mikhailov. Come on. And let's do a uh, Rolly Bolo. It doesn't matter which we're going to use because we're not going to hit anyone there. We're not going to impress them. So just cover. And that's fine. That moves us to six. And she can, uh, she can give it, come on, Jewel, <laughs> juggle. And Lily, we all float down here.
And you can do some fireball juggling. And the cherry picker. And you're down to 14. We can do that, just draw what's there. It's a teeth lift. Alright, we've got two left. That would give me 10 damage. And takes us back on that though. Oh, we can do two other things. Oh. Alright, ignore six on everyone. Because you're going to hit him. And there we are. Took some damage there. And reverse cascade, if you will. You can ignore five. And you can um, face the cherry picker, I think. Oh, he's got four ignore there. Uh, impress three. Do it on him. Mimi, if you'd like to make an appearance, please let's see if you can please the drop in with the beauty of a lovely high wire girl on a unicycle. Here we go. He's down. Extra ignore, stash three. Nah, that's it for now. All right, let's do a fiery fart, Lily. Everyone's impressed by fiery farts. Impressed four and stash a juggling ball. And then, hmm, we don't have enough to do that. Well, we can ignore seven with a finger lift. All oh, the strength in our boys' fingers. Mikhailov, show them what you're made of. Down to 16. And we will do a rolly baller. Uh -huh. Whatever, no, it was a Samson lift. And you can unstash all. Impress three. Unfortunately, he was already covered. I should have looked at that. That's okay. He's not anymore. And um, Penman's Pandemonium. Let's finish him off. Get out of the screen. There we go. There we go. All finished. All successful. She's got bandage, unfortunately. Oh no, not fortunately. Shuffle one random scrapped card into your deck. Nice. Continue. Let's have a look at the training tent. 116. Not enough to do anything with yet. Tick tock. You need to stop, my friend. Alright, so. Not there. Not there. We're going to Helena. It's small, it's the Wild West, it's 1864, 10,770 people. 
Atlanta, Montana, one of the grandest cities in the end of the fine, uh, the old turbulent century. Dozens of millionaires live here, and fabulous Victorian houses can be seen on either side of the street. After all, if one made millions on a gold rush, why would one spend all those millions on the knees? Okay, it's one. We've got a miner and a mine foreman, and uh, we've got one dish needed. Let's see where we stand. Two minus three minus three. So we need health and nutrition if we can make it. TikTok. Give me a little space, dear boy. There we go. We need health and nutrition. Tiki. You're being a little bit of a pain, do you know that? We could go for this. It would certainly work. And that is... Potato omelette. Oh, very cheap. In fact, let's... Take it, you're getting in my way, come on. Give me a little space here, boy. We'll shoot on over there. I think it saves it at the end of a travel. And that's where we will leave it. Oh, you're riding down the road when suddenly a masked horseman or riding man gets to your cart. Steal some food and ride away. We can increase the health bar with chasing after the thief. We reduce the health bar, but get cash. Oh, let's shoot him. You take out an old rusty but trusty rifle and shoot uh, with one shot in the thief off his horse. Uh, though the people around thank you and pay you for getting rid of the thief who's been terrorizing the area, your food fell on the puddle of mud. But still edible, right? Ooh. Not good. And that's where we will leave it for now. There's someone there to talk to. Uh, well, that's where we'll leave it for now. I have been the surprise Yorkie the Mechanic. Yes, that's Yorkie, the surprise mechanic about gambling, except it's not gambling because it's in the game. You ask Electronic Arts. This has been the Chihuahua who's decided to show up and be annoying. This has been the amazing American Circus, and you have been fantastic. I shall see you next time. See you on.